Hi, I'm Melissa, a bronchiectasis patient and health opinion leader at cysticfibrosis.com. I have a complicated regimen to try to reduce infections and inflammation in my lungs, and I'm always trying to stay ahead of my next exacerbation and better understand my symptoms. I want to track my pulmonary function at home on a regular basis to determine when to step up my medications and airway clearance in hopes of preventing some full-blown exacerbations. I want to track changes in my numbers from a seasonal standpoint and in relation to my exercise efforts, and I want to see more than what a peak flow meter can tell me, such as FEV1, FVC, FEV1 over FVC, and FEF 25 to 75. And to have robust information to bring to my pulmonologist at regular checkups. Today I'm going to discuss a portable spirometer called the Orbit from QRS Diagnostic, which I am using to do home pulmonary function testing. The Orbit is a full function spirometer that's powered by a USB connection to your laptop. It consists of the spirometer itself with its USB attachment that goes on the side of your computer, tubing that connects the spirometer to the mouthpiece, and the mouthpiece, which comes pre-calibrated. Nose clips, which are recommended by the American Thoracic Society for accurate pulmonary function testing, and software, which calculates patient data, stores results, and coaches on proper PFT technique. I've already installed the Office Medic software and created a patient file, where I've saved my demographics of age, height, weight, gender, and race. When I begin a test session, I like to enter comments about how I feel, the meds I'm on, any airway clearance changes, weather, or environmental changes. Then I'm ready to go. I'll demonstrate how to use the Orbit while a colleague describes the procedure. Click on the pre-forced vital capacity, or pre-FVC. Make sure you are sitting upright and that your hand is not covering the mesh on the mouthpiece. Put the nose clips on and breathe normally and away from the mouthpiece while the red and yellow circles flash on your screen. When the circles turn green, inhale as deeply as you can, seal your lips around the mouthpiece and blow out as hard, fast, and long as you can. And then inhale completely, still sealed to the mouthpiece. On your screen appears your flow leap, a graphic representation of the test, a complete breath cycle. You can also see all the data from this test, predicted values, actual values, and the percent your actual values are of the predicted values, essentially how you compare relative to the normal for your demographic. You can also test your pulmonary function after using a bronchodilator, and the software calculates changes in all the data points. I would typically do three of these tests, about a minute between each. The Office Medic software indicates to me which aspects of my technique might need work or whether the session was successful. The program also tells me if the results from all three of my tests are close enough to be reproducible or valid. In conjunction with looking at my other symptoms like sputum color and quantity, cough, fever, weight loss, I now have a more complete picture of what is going on with my lungs in the short and long term. 